Yes guys, what's going on? I'm Max, welcome back to Players World. Normally last weekend of October, we're in Vegas for SEMA. Instead, we're here at Shitty Telford for Ultima's dance. So let's take a look how Ultima is this dance. Yeah, so this is a sick 944 OSED Futuras sitting really low. I think it's static as well. I don't see an air controller. It's really clean and tidy, really nice cream interior. But more importantly, the stance really nice. Suits the boxy arches, really low. So I'll probably go with a spacer in the rear. I love the OSED Futuras. I love how the front is really nicely tucked in, kind of like an air-cooled car. Um, yeah, so big fan of this. Trying to work out what stance cars are here because the ultimate stance you want to see sort of like a mix of stance. You don't just want to see like low cars, uh, although most stance cars are going to be low on air or static or whatever. They got to sit real nice. So if it's like a track car, it's got to have like a track stance, good track stance. And if it's like a show car, it's got to have a sick, sick stance. This R32 Mark IV sits really nice as it should on air. Lip to arch. Fitman filling the arches, really nice interior. Stance is on point. Check this absolute savage build. This Mailman Grunman is wild. Don't know what the build and the engine is, but it's got bucket seats. It's got cage all in the back. It sits bang on, obviously aired out. Um, you never see these mail trucks to this level of build. Merc engine, so big old turbo. Jesus. Christmas, check that turbo out. Um, chunky old Sparco seats, sliding door, big tuck under wheels. I bet you this mail don't arrive late. I might be really biased, but Alex's Mark 1 G60 on E30s is probably one of the best sitting cars I've ever seen. Static, runs it like that drives it aggressively, lip to arch all the way around, narrowed beam, supercharged two liter 16 valve G60. I mean, this thing is wild. He drives it like he stole it. Um, the essence really of like what I think stance is about and us modifying cars is just drive it, enjoy it, love it, be the out of it. Engine's mad, like the wine from the supercharger, like, I love this car. Plus it's like a bluey purple, so it's an absolute vibe of a color on a campaign model. So Helios Blue or whatever it was. Um, yeah, so check out this Saxo, not normally my cup of tea, but this is sitting really nicely. Saxo owners normally get it wrong, but this purple is an absolute vibe. 16 valve, so even a good engine choice, really nice interior. BBS RMs really nicely suit in the car. I'm normally more of an RS guy. You don't see RMs very much these days now because everybody's gone RSs. Really nice touch, carbon mirrors. Yeah, this is an absolute vibe. The color is on point. Um, shame I've had the sticker in the rear window, but hey, we can all make mistakes. This Aventine's wild. Um, it's sick, took about pillarless doors, um, big old WGR rotor form. Let's have a look at the size. I'm guessing 20s, but I can't see the tire size because they're tucked right in the arches. Um, full on original build. You never see these. This is an absolute vibe. This is the sort of thing I was looking forward to seeing here. Um, something different, something sitting really wild, like something totally off the cuffs. Big old roof. Like pano roof is on point. Like this is sick. This really cool Jetta Coupe Mark II. You can see the work that's been put in. Sits really nice. It's had a. I don't think we did them in right-hand drive, so it's had a right-hand drive conversion. It's got a TT dash. It's got interior RSs. A lot of work's gone into this. Sits really nice. This is what I'm excited by. The Aventime, something that I'm excited by. Let's go and see if there's some of the cool shit that we can find. This is another wild build. Um, Iris Turbo Fiesta, big, big build. Um, shame it's in red, but now nah, the real talk, this is really nice, really nicely done. Looks really nicely finished. Really cool um, RSs all the way around, but you have the RS 
on the rear and the aero disc on the front um, with a wider track. That's a really cool touch, how they've incorporated that. Cage looks real nice, carbon rear boot lid. Like I said, it's a really nice build and it's got real 90s stance. So what I'm saying about the stance is it's gotta suit the car. Uh, and this really suits the car, really aggressive front stance, slightly tucked, chunkier tires. Big fan of that, even though it's a forward and red. This EG hatch is super sick, really nice build, uh, sits aired out really nicely, even tuck all the way around, really low, really cool engine build, um, stripped interior, really nice air build. Really cool to see these Civics being done like this and not just all of them done like track spec. Yeah, big fan of this. Uh, big fan also of that Mark III, sits really nice on Schmitz. Um, it's, I'm a Mark III boy and this sits really nice. I'm guessing it's aired, not so sure about the but yeah, it's air, look at the air build, of course. I'm not so sure about the shifter, but hey, each to their own. Um, purple, Mark III, sitting really nice on Schmitz. Can't go wrong. Yeah, so this wide body R32 is such a vibe. It sits so well, like super stance. For me, it's probably the best stance of the whole show. It shows just how well a car should sit, lip to arch all the way around big dish big aggressive dish like savage but it's not silly stretch it's not silly camber lip to arch really nicely done great choice of color like this is yeah killer between this and alex's mark one probably my favorite two cars that sit here at ultimate stance yeah so these are sick Roti spec forged monoblocks, absolute wild on this GTS from Plush. They sit so nice, really nicely tucked into the arches. The concave of the rears goes so well with the gray of the car. Big fan of this. You don't see many of these done, definitely not like this. So big fan of that. This 190 is wild. Look at the paint. Engine build, it sits super, super nice. Um, it's got Super Mario in the dash. Like, this is an absolute vibe. It hits so, so hard. Like, it just hits so hard. The boot build is mental. It sits really well. Well done, Harold. Big fan of your build, if that's your name. Um, yeah, like proper like gangster granddad spec sort of vibe. But yeah, like this is this is cool. This is cool. Hats off. Nicely done interior, nicely done lighting, and this is just effort. So well done. Big fan. On the other side of the scale, low riders, flicking switches, freewheeling, absolute cool vibes to see over here have that cali vibe with a knockoff wires big body lincoln and the little civic side by side absolute killer cocaine white with a white interior three wheeling yeah it's cool as fuck yes yeah, so just bumped into bagsy right now how you then yeah man good uh it's been a few years since i've been a Almost stance. I think the last time I was here was uh, again with Rotoform. So yeah, that's no, cool. It's a busy show. Uh, it's good to see some new cars and yeah, just hang out and catch up with people. Nice, nice. Uh, have you had a chance to walk around and find your favourite car? Uh, there's a couple of older Skylines next door. I think it's the VIP hall. Uh, they're really, really cool to see. You don't really get to see them anymore. Um, other than that. Yeah, no, I haven't seen anything else I really like. Yeah, I think uh, the R32 Skyline was my pick of the of the weekend. So yeah, that's cool. So how are you getting on with your uh, R35? Uh, yeah, I mean, since Goodwood, we've not really done a lot with it. We've just put it on display and stuff. Uh, it's going to Essen Motor Show in a couple of weeks time over in Germany. And then we've got a couple of little video projects between now and next year that we want to get finished. 
and yeah, then obviously Auto Sport in January. Uh, she's back in the live action arena. So yeah, it's going to be a busy year next year for sure. Wicked. So uh, Auto Sport is the next time you're going to see it in action. We're going to drive it again before then, but the, yeah, the next time everyone will get to see it driving is uh, driving live will be yeah Auto Sport live action arena 2022. Perfect. Cool. Cheers for chatting to us. Take it easy, man. Yeah, so this has been Players World at Ultimate Stance. Let us know which car you thought had the best stance. Um, let us know what you thought of what I thought, which is that R32 and our Mark 1. See if you agree with me. Either way, let us know in the comments below what your favorite car was. And thanks for watching. See you next time.